Hey guys, this is MacKids01, with our first official iPhone programming tutorial. In the past, I've done Objective-C tutorials of different kinds, but uh, this is the first official one where I'm trying a new method of teaching that I think will actually get to a lot of people better. Um, because I realized when I explain things in too much depth, it confuses people. And the way people actually learn this kind of thing is by starting out doing, doing some code and not quite understanding what it does, and then learning what it means later on. And uh, that's what I'm going to be trying to do. I'm also going to be explaining things. Don't worry about that. But uh, not as into as much depth. Um, Alright, so you have to download Xcode. If you don't already have it. In order to make iPhone apps. The way Apple wants it to be. So you can do that by going to developer.apple.com. iPhone. After you have Xcode, you want to open it. And I already have done that. And create a new project. So you're going to go up to File, New Project, Application, View-Based Application. Real quickly, what a view is, is it's basically an object, uh, that's a technical term, where you can put graphics, such as this, the contents of this window is an object, because it's got some graphical text, it's got some icons, it's got this thing, and these are all sub-views. This is a sub-view, because it's got, uh, like you can tell, it's got a little border around it, it's got the scroll thing. And uh, so that is, in a brief little description, what a view is. And view-based applications is where everything's pretty much a view. So I'll be going over that in more depth in a later tutorial. We're going to call this application Hello World. All right. So if you're familiar with working in an Xcode environment, you already know this, but Xcode also comes with something called Interface Builder, which is a very helpful tool which allows you to, to use a, a very easy-to-use user interface to create your view, your uh, views for your app. And so if we go to resources, we can see Hello World View Controller. Um, that's a view controller is basically an object that, that manages a view. And um, I'll also explain that in more depth and why we need those uh, in a later tutorial. But for now, we're just going to be using one. So let's open this XIV for the view controller. Mainwindow.xiv is uh, not important. And this is going to be our main view in Interface Builder. So, to quickly familiarize you with Interface Builder, here's the library window. Uh, there's the inspector for setting settings. There's the document window. And this is a view editor. So if you go to tools, you can see the library and inspector buttons are right there in case you ever can't find those. And you have under window, you have the document button. So if we take a look at our document, you got files owner. That is the object that's the view controller. All right. You got first responder. That's more for undo uh, managers, stuff like that. Normally, you won't use that on iPhone apps. And then you have your actual view. And this is the main view where the uh, contents of our, our first screen on the app are going to be. So we're going we're gonna to drag in some objects from the library here. This is a view that's called a UI text field. That's the type of uh, object it is. So remember UI text field, where you enter a line of text. You got your UI button, which sends an action. I'll explain that in a second. And you got your UI label, which is uneditable text. Uh, and I'm just going to set up our UI so we can stretch this out. You can see interface builder is pretty easy to use. It's the first thing I learned how to use when I tap on. Alright, and so we can also set a placeholder on text. That's just a interface filter stuff. So you can see we've already got a decent looking interface. So I'll explain to you what we're going to program this interface to do. We're going to make it so they type their name there, click hi, and this label will say hello, then their name. So it'll say hello space name. Um, so there are a couple things we have to do to do this. First of all, you have your code files here. This is the hello world view controller.h. That's where you're going to be talking to interface builder through. So this is where you're going to be telling it what you need in the UI. And you can be linking up with that. This is also where you declare variables and stuff. If you've already programmed in another language, you'll understand this. Otherwise, you'll, you'll learn it pretty quickly. In hello world view controller.m, where you put the actual code. And we will be putting some code in here shortly. Right now, there's almost no code in here, and that green stuff means it's not code because it's commented out. Um, 
So, this right here represents this code in the dot .h. Um, that, that's simply how it works. So if you write IB outlet between these two curly braces, this is where you do all your outlets and uh, variables. I'm going to do a UI label. I'm going to do an IB outlet UI text field. Text field. Alright, so let's take a step back. What I just did here was I said IB outlet, that's a keyword the interface builder sees. The type of variable, a star, that means it's a pointer, won't get into that. Um, and then the name. This is just a keyword that we as programmers can use to to refer to our our objects. So if we go back here, we can see our view. We have two outlets. What an outlet is is something that files owner, which is this, can then link to the interface. So we go to files owner in the inspector under this uh, connections tab. We'll have a label connection. We can just click the plus next to that, drag it over to the label. We have a text field connection. We can just drag that to the text field. So now this code will know about this and this. And it'll they'll be going under the names label and text field. Now how do we set it up so it knows when this button is clicked? That's called an action. So to declare that we declare it after the close curly brace before the add end. Hi. So the way IB actions work is like any Objective C method. You do IB action in parentheses or minus parentheses IB action. Outside of the parentheses, you get high colon and left parentheses ID right parentheses and then the uh, that can really be anything because this is another name for a variable, but we're gonna call that sender. This declares that we're going to have. Uh, a function called high. If you've done this in math, a function is something that you should know. Um, so if we go back to files owner, under received actions, you'll see something called high. You can drag that directly to the button. I'll show you another way to do it. If you go to the button, you can go touch up inside, go to the plus across to that, and drag it to files owner. The way, the reason I'm doing this this way is so you can think about it in the way that outlets are things that, that are um, referenced in files owner where from the files owner you link them over to the UI. Actions are things that the UI gives to the files owner which is why you connect it from the UI to the files owner. And uh, that's the difference between the two. Uh, to write code for this IB action now we can copy the declaration go into the .m of uh, of this. Dot M is where you write the actual code. You can paste this, get rid of the semicolon, do an open and close curly brace, and here's where the button code goes. So let's go over comments real quick since I just did one. If you put slash slash, the rest of that line is not code. It's just a message that you're putting in your code. If you do slash star, then everything up to the star slash is also a comment, which is why they comment out all these methods where you could be writing code but you don't necessarily need to write code in any of them so you don't need to in, in, uh, implement them. There are also some where you have to write some code and uh, you know, stuff like that. So now that we have done that we can go here say well here's where we write our code. So we have two things we can refer to. We can refer to label and we can refer to text field. We can say label set text text field text. All right, and if you if you don't understand what these brackets are, basically this is calling a method, and this is calling a method that has no parameters. So, just for now, you don't have to know what this does. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, you just can't, I can't explain it, I have to demonstrate it, and I'll be demonstrating this in another tutorial. Uh, for now all you have to know is left bracket, then a UI label or a UI text field, space text, right bracket, gives you the text, and left bracket, UI label or UI text field, space set text, colon, you give it something else's text or string or anything, and then you do know, right bracket. Unfortunately, I had to cut the tutorial short due to YouTube's 
video length limit, but you can catch the second part of this tutorial on my channel. I will also put a link to it in the description of this video. Thanks. Bye.